achieved in the last six months? What is it that we've done? Because we made, we made a promise to our friends and members that uh, we are going to transformation, and part of the transformation was a digital transformation. As you remember that the main focus of our initial transformation agenda was focused on three pillars. One pillar was to ensure that we look at ways how do we transform the ownership of the club. How do we ensure that the, the structural outlook of the club is also transformed. Also main pillar was the fans engagement. So today uh, we are focusing on the fans engagement because the fans engagement is something that was part of the transformation itself. So we went on and uh, uh, called you to another meeting where we informed you that uh, we are entering into a contract with Kilinet and, and we told you that the contract is about ensuring that we build a database, we're able to know who are our fans and we're able to give our fans their cards. So really in the past six months has been a very interesting um, a period and today we are seated here to come and report back in terms of how well we did with this uh, transformation. And uh, just to remind you that uh, if it was not for the, the passing of the constitution and the changes in the AGM that we held last year, we would not be here. So we are proud today that today we can sit here and give feedback on how well we did with, uh, with our members. If I may say that uh, uh, without uh, taking away from uh, Kilinet, we want Kilinet to give you numbers in terms of how many uh, members we manage in Swahili, how well have we done that, how big is our database, that we have our own uh, programs in place. As an example, you know, every time if you have become, you must be a member of uh, Young Africans, you must pay a subscription. There's a monthly subscription that you pay uh, uh, to become a member of this club. If I can give you an example, in the last three years, Young Africans in 2019, we collected about 9 million, plus about 9 million Tanzanian shillings in the 2019 season through the member subscription. We collected about 6.5 million Tanzanian shillings with the subscriptions of members. Last year we had an AGM, obviously there was an interest from the members, and last year, which was a 2021, we collected about 21 million Tanzanian shillings in terms of the bus subscriptions. So I'm sitting here as a CEO of this club, my uh, vice chairman, very proud of what we've achieved so far. You know, if you compare these numbers that I've given you with the current numbers that uh, Mohammed is going to give us, you're going to be very, very, very proud. So without wasting time, it is important to know that the process we are here now started some time and for, it was important for me to note for you that in 2019 how much we've collected in 2020 how much we've collected 2021 how much we've collected the club is transforming each and every day the club is showing that is something that wants to be one of the biggest in the, in africa as a whole so you know uh, in our meeting earlier with the uh, vice chairman who said that uh, People will not believe when we tell you that we've collected just over a billion. Only six months. Only six months from January up until now. Young African Sports Club, through the assistance of Kilinet and our partners NCAT, through our transform a digital transformation program, we have managed to collect over a billion Tanzanian shillings. So I wanted you to compare with 2019, which was nine. 2020 was 6, in 2021 it was 21 million. So, Kilinet, I'm here to say that thank you very much so far. Things are going very well. We still have a long way to go in terms of ensuring that we enhance our programs and ensure that we get uh, more members coming into, into the fray. So, I just want to say that uh, it has been a good project, progress in the past six months. However, I would want uh, our colleagues from Kilinet to take us through this database and give us proper details in terms of how well we did in the last six months. With those few words, uh, Haji, let me not waste your, your meeting and say let me allow uh, Mohammed to take us through the numbers. All I can say, I'm a very proud of sitting here.
tuna jambo letu na mifumo yetu na mipango yetu imeonekana huyu jamaa anakuja atagonisha <laughs> tumefika wapi asante aji asante sana thanks a lot thanks 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 so welcome brother asante sana brother sanzo vice chairman haji kuandishi habari asante ngo kufika hapa leo kwa upande wangu mimi nilipenda kutoa statistics za mafanikio lakini vile vile hadithi ambayo tunayo kwa hii muda wa miezi sita nadhani wengi wanaweza kuona lakini kabla sija kugusia success story ningependa kusema phrase moja ambayo ni muhimu sana alisema Steve Jobs alisema kwamba it's not faith in technology it's faith in people ina maana hapa tulipofikia nadhani tumepata support kubwa kutoka meza kuu lakini vile vile tumepata support kubwa kwa wanachama na wapenzi ambao wameendelea kujisajili kwa wingi lakini viongozi wengi ambao wameappreciate uh, mfumo ambao tumeuweka kwa ajili ya uh, fan na member engagement labda kwa haraka ningependa kusema katika hadithi za mafanikio ya kwanza kabisa ni kwamba tumeweza kutengeneza yanga management information system ni mfumo ambao na ni mfumo ambao ndo unabeba uh, kazi data kubwa ambayo ni database na hapo tunaenda katika ile creation ama emergency ya database management system hivi sasa young africans ina database management system ambayo ina record halisia za wanachama wote ambao wamejisajili katika agency dashboards tukumbuke database inapotengenezwa kuna data ambazo ziko mule ndani ambazo sasa tunahitaji kufahamu ni nini ambacho tumekikusanya tume ndani ya miezi sita wanachama wako wangapi wanawake wako wangapi vijana wako wangapi wanaume wako wangapi hii ipo katika kutengeneza business intelligence uh, dashboards lakini vile vile tumeona kama tume improve registration process leo hii mtu akitaka kujisa, kujisajili kama mwanachama wa Young African Sports Club anajua ni wapi pa kuanzia tayari mikakati ishawekwa na mfumo uko tayari kupokea taarifa za wanachama jambo la tano tracking and recording payments from members from multiple sources yani tuna uwezo wa kujua malipo aliyofanya na wanachama tofauti kupitia mitandao tofauti na mfumo wetu una uwezo wa kuweka hii record wanachama wengi vile vile wamekuwa wamefanya wamekuwa wanafanya malipo eh, kwa ziada na hizi taarifa zote zinakuwa zipo ndani ya uh, ndani ya mfumo wetu lakini la mwisho kabisa ni kwamba tumeweza kuunganisha mifumo yetu na mfumo wa Ncard ambao ndo wamedhaminiwa katika kutengeneza kadi za wanachama hivyo basi taarifa ambazo tunazito, tunazitoa katika matawi tofauti uh, tuna uwezo kuzipata kwenye mfumo wetu na kuzituma Ncard kwa ajili ya kuchapishwa uh, kwa kadi kwa upande wa current status mpaka leo hii kwa upande wa malipo wanachama 1034650 wameshafanya malipo ambayo hii ni sawa sawa na collections za milioni moja bilioni bilioni moja point zero seven. ina maana collections ambazo sisi tumezikusanya mpaka sasa hivi kama CEO alivyosema ni bilioni moja ukilinganisha na miaka iliyopita hii ni, imekuwa surpassed by miles kitu kingine ambacho tuna uwezo wa kupata kwenye mfumo wetu ni takwimu za wanachama ambazo kama hapo mnaona kuna age group tofauti kuanzia miaka 18 25 miaka 26 mpaka 30 31 mpaka 35 na wanachama ambao wana umri kuanzia miaka 35 na kwenda mbele vile vile tuna uwezo wa kuangalia gender kwa mpaka sasa hivi wanachama wetu kwa upande wa wanaume na upande wa wanawake takwimu zake na idadi zake kama zilizovuepo katika mfumo isitoshe business intelligence inaenda na kujua idadi ya wanachama katika kila kanda kama hapo mnavoona katika presentation kwamba kanda inayoongoza mpaka sasa hivi ni kanda ya pwani ambayo ina wanachama 1015 ikifuatiwa na kanda ya ziwa kanda ya nyanda za juu kusini kanda ya kati na kanda ya kaskazini 
kwa upande wa mikoa vile vile mfumo una uwezo wa kutupa data sahihi za kujua mkoa gani ambao unaongoza kuwa na wanachama na vile vile jitihada ambazo mikoa tofauti iliyofanya katika kipindi hichi cha miezi sita hapo kama tunavyoona Dar es Salaam inaongoza kwa wanachama 1224 ikifuatiwa na Mwanza 1982 Mbeya 1655 Dodoma 1521 Morogoro 1410 na Pwani 1341 Mikoa iko mingi lakini hapa mikoa ambayo tumeileta ni ile ambayo imefikisha wanachama kuanzia elfu moja na kuendelea Vile vile katika hadithi za mafanikio ni kwamba sasa hivi katika mfumo wetu huu wa kidijitali tuna uwezo wa kusajili matawi kidijitali mpaka sasa yalisajiliwa ni 638 na katika haya matawi 638 mnaweza mkaona yale ambayo yako hai au active ni 129 haya maana yake ni kwamba yamefikisha wanachama mia. kama kila tawi limefikisha wanachama mia. hivyo basi intelligence ya mfumo ina uwezo wa kupambanua na kujua kwamba wanachama wakishafika mia, tawi linakuwa ni hai na ambao hawajafika mia, tunapata uh, kuwapa hamasa ili waweze uh, kufikisha hiyo status lakini kwa upande wa kadi mpaka sasa hivi idadi ya kadi 1015780 zishatolewa ambao tukiangalia ni kama asilimia sabini na tano ya wanachama wote waliosajiliwa na hivi karibuni tunategemea kupata awamu ya tatu ya kadi ambazo zitatoka kutoka NCAD na kwa kumalizia ningependa kuwakumbusha kwamba phase tulokuwepo ama phase ambayo tumepita ndani miezi sita hii ni phase 1 sasa hivi tunaenda katika phase 2 ambayo katika awamu ya pili tutaleta fan registration member registration kwa kupitia njia tatu tofauti njia ya kwanza itakuwa kwa kupitia website ama portal njia ya pili tutatumia USSD na njia ya tatu tutatumia mobile application hii inaenda kuongeza sasa ama inaenda kurahisisha ule usajili wa wanachama katika mfumo wetu uh, wa kidijitali asanteni sana jambo adhimu jambo ambalo limeacha alama kwa uongozi wa dr mshindo msola Frederick Makalibela na kamati yake ya utendaji jambo loacha alama na nililea kwa chalama kwa wadhamini wetu GSM wakiongozwa na bwana Ghalib Said Mohamed na health secretary lakini pia management chini ya Senzo Mazingira wakati fulani tulikuwa tunakaa tunakijili kijili nasema yanga mwaleta leader hamna kitu pale kwa na kijili kijili kwa kweli kwa tukimuona health ana panda ndege kwenda Madrid mara kwa mara nasema wanaenda kuangalia mechi za 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 za, za ligi ya ya, ya Hispaniola na anga alifanya jitihada sana na hapa lazima tutaipongeza sana kwa health na GSM na wakati walioleta watu kutoka Portugal si gani ilikuwa for Lisbon nadhani au Benfica Benfica yes yote katika kutafuta mfumo sahihi wa kuifanya club hii ijiendeshe katika muundo wa kisasa ulio bora. Siku moja ndio kusema. Yanga itakuwa club ya kwanza kushinda ubingwa wa Afrika. Ndio kusema. Na nairudia ingawa kuna baadhi ya watu walinispot kusema nimesema mwakani yanga itachukua ubingwa wa Afrika. Hakuna mwananga yote aniamini yanga mwakani ndio kushinda ubingwa wa Afrika. Hakisi akili zetu ziko barabara. Tunajua what we want. Tunazo priority yetu lakini priority sio kushinda ubingwa wa Afrika next season. 
tukishinda tutakuwa tumefluk. Mpira ni mchezo wa wazi sana. Nikitaka maisha kufluk. Wakati niliposema Yanga inaenda kushinda kwa klabu ya kwanza kushinda ubingu wa Afrika nilimaanisha kitu kimoja. Bahati mbaya waandisha mkoniuliza kwa nini unasema hivi? Yanga wanakwenda kwenye proper transformation. Muundo wake, mfumo wake na namna ambavyo ulikamilika hamkusikia mahali kokote mtu kenda mahakamani wala kenda kupinga mahali mfumo ulipelekwa kwenye mkutano mkuu wa wanachama wanachama wakashirikishwa watu wakenda kwenye matawi wakajadili wakaleta mapendekezo yao kamati ya mabadiliko ile ika, ikafanya amendment ikapelekwa kwenye mkutano mkuu ukapitishwa baadaye msajili na TFF wakabariki siku chache zijazo tutakwenda kwenye uchaguzi lakini hapo kabla tukaanza kusajili mfumo huu wa wanachama kidijitali mabibi na mabwana haipo na haijatokea klabu yoyote Afrika Mashariki na ya kati kuweza ku collect 1 billion from members haipo haijawahi kutokea katika Afrika Mashariki na kati. tena kwa miezi sita tu jamani miezi mingapi sita ni, ni mfumo sahihi ambao umewawezesha wanachama wa klabu hii kutoka kwa mwaka ku collect milioni tisa au sita au ishina moja wakati wa uchaguzi within six months wanaenda ku collect one billion plus tunapozungumza club kubwa hatuzungumzi club kubwa kwa sababu tu kuna kelele nyingi au kuna hapana juzi kwenye press kuna mmoja alisema it's all about pake Yanga ina pakee yake 1 billion Mind you hii hii hi, mwelewe hawa ni wanachama ndugu zangu msije mkachanganya mwanachama kuna process unajaza fomu unajadiliwa kwenye tawi kuna process Fikiri hawa sio fans ambao process, process yake ameisema kaka yetu hapa Mohamed ni rahisi hawa wanachama je huu ni mwanachama tawi linasema yes huu ni mwana yanga anastahili kwa mwanachama hawa wamefika 1034 na ushehe na hapa kuna wengine ambao hawajakamilisha hiyo michakato Mohamed ananiambia almost kuna kama namba watu 5500 6000 kama watu 40 katika kwinta mia sita watu wame collect 1 billion mabibi na mabwana Juzi nilipokuwa nazungumza kuhusu kwamba mradi wetu sisi wa kujenga uwanja hautokani na kinachofanyika au kilichofanyika siku ile nilikuwa namaanisha kitu Sikuwa tu nimetoka hewani nimesema au Senzo ametoka hewani amesema Tushafanya hesabu zetu vizuri. Mradi ule ni mzuri ambao unaendelea hivi sasa. Sana. Na sisi tunaendelea kusupport. Lakini sisi tuna project zetu ambazo kwa kipindi cha miezi sita zimetuletea kwa mfano wa wanachama wametuletea 1 billion. Mind you brother. Tukipata wanachama manake wanachama wao wametutia 1 billion tukipata wanachama laki moja na ndio target lazima twende na target eh, december ja, au january tuwaite tena hawa tuwaambie sasa tumefika laki moja tukifika laki moja maana yake ni bilion tatu mabibi na mabwana over bilion tatu na leo tuna introduce fan engagement hatu launch tawaambia siku gani na kwenda kulonge leo tunawatambulishia kwenu mradi huu huu ndio utakuwa baba lao 
ndio mradi mkubwa zaidi wa kispoti kuwahi kufanyika Tanzania. Tunakwenda kuzindua hivi karibuni. Yes. Yanga wanaweza wakitaka lao wanaweza. Mradi wa mshabiki anaweza akajisajili kwa njia mpaka ukiwa na simu kama yangu ya kitochi unaweza kujisajili ukiwa na laptop kompyuta unajisajili ukiwa na smartphone unajisajili kupitia kupitia application ndugu zangu mshabiki atajisajili kwa shilingi 1017 mwanachama alikuwa na moja. Ebu tufanye tufanye tu akili ya kawaida. Hapa hakuna process ya kusajiliwa ya, ya, ya kujadiliwa kwenye tawi. Hii hii haina process hiyo. Hii tunakwenda pale mwembe yanga au tuna, tuna, tunafanya pale labda kitu pale kikubwa nini tunashawishi watu jamani watu wa yanga 1017 mtu mmoja. Wakiwa kumi Begani laki moja elfu sabini eh? wakiwa mia milioni moja na laki saba wakiwa alfu milioni kumi na saba wakiwa elfu kumi milioni mia moja sabini wakiwa laki moja 1.7 b wakiwa milioni moja ni bilion kumi na saba mabibi na mabwana hiyo ndio yanga tunaizungumza sisi na kama mnazungumza zungumza maneno sisi wakubwa sisi wako wapi ukubwa una huna mfumo Umekaa umetengeneza we, umepigana we, nataka kuchangisha umechukua milioni sitini kwa miezi sita. Maana mimi nimechukua bilioni moja. Unaweza kupambana na Yanga Afrika utaweza wapi? Hii timu ya watu, mabibi na mabwana, ili adhimiwa kabla ya kuanzishwa kwake. Jamani, <laughs> miezi saba wanahangaika. Sisi only six months tumekusanya one billion sio na leo wanaburukia miradi ya watu unapoka kama vile ndio ushindani mkubwa ushindani wa nini sasa tutachukua bilioni sasa hivi tunayo tunayo mfukoni tena niko kwangu niotolee <laughs> ndugu zangu ndugu zangu yanga imejipanga kuhakikisha kwamba huu mradi unafanikiwa tutatumia nguvu sana kwenye mradi wa mashabi kama ulivyo wa wanachama wa wanachama Mlikuwa mnatuona mimi na Helsi Senzo tunazikwea mara tumeenda Unguja mara tumeenda tukifungua tawi Mbeya mara Makalibela anaonekana si yuko Kilolo mlikuwa mnatuona kama tunacheza tu eh tumeenda mpaka bungeni tumeenda kwenye baraza la wakilishi tumeuuza mradi na mind you ndugu zangu kulikuwa na challenge kwenye mradi za upatikanaji wa kadi mimi naamini kama ile challenge isingekuepo sasa tulikuwa tunazungumzia about 7 Yes. Tulikuwa tuko mbali sana na umradi. Challenge ilikuwa kubwa lakini wanachama wetu wakavumilia, wakaweza kupata kadi na wale ambao bado tutakisha wanazipata lakini sasa katika mradi wa mashabiki tunakuja na mpango. Unajisajili kuwa mshabiki wa Yanga unachukua kadi yako. Ba Mohamed, are you got tired na ile Washabiki tofauti na wanachama. Wanachama kidogo wanasubira. Washabiki hawana subira sana. Analipa hela yake 17,000, anakachelewa sana siku moja. Apate kadi yake mshabiki. Nimezungumzia watu milioni moja ni about billion 17, mabibi na mabwana. Mista kuongopa eti sisi tuko milioni wanasemaga tuko milioni 40 zipo Tanzania na watu milioni 800 hivi. Milioni 40 tunapata wapi wewe? Sisi tuko wangapi population ya nchi? Tapenda kuongopa ongopa ukubwa ni pake. Ukubwa sio unarukia miradi ya watu kuficha kivuli cha kukosa ubingwa, ukaifanya ndio big issue. Big issue ni kushinda championship. Big issue ni kuleta miradi mikubwa kama hii. Wanaanga mnasaili pongee sana. Mmetuvisha vilemba vya heshima uongozi wote tunajivunia wanachama wa yanga haija kujua mimi nilikuwa sielewi zamani watu walikuwa nakaa wanapiga hesabu hizi yanga na simba kubwa basi tuwaona viongozi makini wangejipanga vizuri 
Yanga na simba kwa mwezi naweza nikapata mpaka milioni 300 400. Mimi nimekaa kwenye mpira muda mrefu, ni ngumu sana. Lakini kumbe sio ngumu kama una watu ambao wanafikiri vizuri. Viongozi wa Yanga wanafikiri sawa sawa. Hatuwezi kwenda katika mifumo ya kizamani bado ukaenda collect pesa. Huu mfumo umeprove kwamba sisi tumekuja na kitu very smart ambacho kinaenda kuinufaisha club direct. Niwape tu mfano halisi. Budget ya hizi club zetu tunazojinasibisha ni kubwa kubwa. Labda tuweke tuweke kaya maximum 8 mimi nawekea 10 mtala hapo ambia 8 atufanye bilioni nane pa year kama unakusanya wanachama laki moja wanachama laki moja maana yake unazungumzia bilioni tatu si ndio mabibi na mabwana ukipata washabiki wako laki moja laki moja tu unazungumzia 1.7 almost 4.7 zaidi ya nusu ya budget ya klabu inaweza ikaendeshwa na wanachama na washabiki sponsors gate collection zika cover eneo hilo bilioni 3.6 investors watakayokuja baada ya uchaguzi wanakuja kufanya miradi mikubwa ya ujenzi wa uwanja na miradi mingine ndio akili hiyo mabibi na mabwana mmekaa tu tumeinvest watu wewe akili hiyo nimewapa mfano kama kwa wanachama 1034 tume collect 1 billion maana yake watu wanachama laki moja ni bilion tatu. tukipata washabiki laki moja ni bilion bilion 1.7 ni 4.7 bado kuna udhamini chungu mzima NBC Azam na Azam si tutakuwa zimia tano mia tano zao tutakuwa kila mwaka tunalamba mpaka 2030 leo haya ukikusanya zile almost this collection Ushamaliza, ushamaliza. Kwa hiyo niwaambie ndugu zangu hili mkae mkilijua tumefanikiwa na lazima tutambe. Mimi sikizi stambi sana katika pesa lakini leo nimekuja na tamba na vimba kalisemia ndugu yangu nuga na vimba. Leo na vimba. Yes. Unakuja katika klabu watu wanakwambia haji njoo hapo unashiriki unashinda ubingwa au unachukua FA hii unachukua bilioni inaingia mimi nitakuza kutamba acha ni vimbe na kutamba yes eh ah watu wamekaa wakafikiri sawa sawa kaona kuna watu hapa tukiwa nao mambo yataenda bam bam mmekaa tu kaniki upo yupo kwa kaniki umeona bilioni moja mshaye kuletewa namba kama hizi kuna club eh upo hapa ndugu zangu nenda Kongo nenda Malawi nenda Zambia nenda Kenya nenda Uganda nenda nchi zote za Eastern Central hakuna club yoyote iliyoweza ku collect 1 billion katika kipindi cha miezi sita wameshindwa watu wote kwa washabiki tu hao jamani hao ni wanachama hao wengine hata kwa washabiki tu wameshindwa washabiki mwaka jana ilikuwa ripoti inasomwa mradi wao mashabiki mashabiki ndio ni rais hawana process wamekusanya milioni kumi. Kwa mujibu wa ripoti ya mkutano mkuu waliopeleka, milioni kumi. Unafananisha nao na umma wamekusanya 1 billion. Nyinyi jamani nyinyi mnaposema Yanga mwana adabu. Hey. Bwana Yanga. Hii kama mnaposema mtaalam ni phase 1. Nawaahidi. Chini ya management ya kaka yangu, rafiki yangu, CEO Senzo, chini ya uongozi wa Young Africans chini ya wadhamini tunakwenda kupush miradi miwili hii ya wanachama na washabi kwa nguvu kubwa challenges zile ambazo tulizi face katika phase 1 sasa nyingi tumeshakubaliana namna gani namna sahihi ya kuziondoa kama sikuzipunguza au kuzifuta kabisa kwa hiyo sasa tutakuwa na uhalali wa kupita kila kona tutafanya miradi miwili kama tuliyofanya mwaka huu kushinda ubingwa na kufanikiwa katika miradi ya wanachama na washabiki. Za mwisho wa siku wa watu wanataka matokeo, wanataka furaha. Kwa hiyo tutakwenda next season kukamilisha miradi hii na kuiendeleza, kushinda ubingwa, kumalizia transformation lakini na kuanza sasa ile miradi 
ya ujenzi wa viwanja. Eh? Sawa? Hiyo miradi itakuja baada ya investors kuingia hapa, watakaa, wakubwa watasema tunakwenda hivi. Mradi najua najua kuna watu wanazungumza vitu kidogo labda hawanielewi. Uwanja wa kawaida. Uwanja wa mpira wa kawaida. Maana kuna mmoja alinilaumu sana, Yanga hawajui ile hela wanapeleka wapi? <laughs> tujue kuitafuta tusijue pa kuipeleka. Wewe oh, umelogwa. Yaani sisi tujue kuitafuta, hapo tusijue pa kuipeleka au matumizi yake. Lakini kupanga ni kuchagua. Sisi hela ile ya ndugu zetu atupe kwenye uwanja tumekuwa very clear. Hadi muone maneno. Na tumesema kwa nini? Uwanja wa mpira wa capacity ya watu 1200. Wa kawaida usiwe na mbwembwe za kufunikwa mpaka juu na mambwembwe mengi wa kawaida tu. Hawezi kupungua less than 15 mpaka 20 million dollars. Nakwambia ni mimi. Ukipapatua sana utapeleka dola milioni 15. Ambao ni almost zaidi ya bilioni 30. Siongopei. Wanachama na washabiki wana mchango wao katika ujenzi wa viwanja lakini ndugu zangu miradi mikubwa lazima ifanywe na investors. Unataka kuwekeza kwenye club weka hela, wacha kupiga piga maneno. Tunawakaribisha sana investors baada ya uchaguzi kina Fred kunagombea tena. <laughs> Watakaoshinda watatuletea investors sahihi watakaoivusha yanga pale tunapotaka. Nimalizie kwa kuwashukuru sana wanahabari. Nimalizie kwa kuwashukuru sana wanahabari. Mmeitikia kwa wingi. Nadhani sasa mtaondoka na uh, how yanga is big eh? Mtaondoka nalo vizuri. Wala tumewekea data, hatujawekea porojo eh. Hatujasema tu sisi wakubwa ah, tumeweka facts. No research, no data. You have no right to speak. Tumeweka data juu ya meza. Mkagaeke nazo mkazipapatue eh. Asubuhi kesho kwenye vipindi mpapatue bilioni hiyo. Asanteni. Sasa brother Senzo anataka kumalizia kidogo One minute baada hapo kama kutakuwa na maswali. Makama maoni. Makama vice atamalizia na baada hapo kama utakuwa na maswali tutaruhusu. Rais unakaa hapo hapo. Mimi sina mengi ya kuongea. Kwanza ni kuweza kutoa shukrani zetu kubwa sana kama kamati ya utendaji wa watendaji wetu kwa maana secretariat kwa kazi kubwa ambayo wamekuwa kuifanya kuhakikisha kwamba haya mambo yanakwenda na pia wenzetu wa Kilmet wa kazi kubwa ambayo wanafanya na MCAT hali kadhalika na wenzetu wa GSM ambao kwa kweli naweza nikasema wametusaidia hadi kufikia hapa tulipo na watu wamekuwa ni kiungo kikubwa sana kuweza kutufikisha hapa tulipo kuhakikisha kwamba masuala ya digitali wanachama na mashabiki yanakwenda vizuri lakini mwisho ni kuwaomba sasa washabiki wetu wanachama na wapenzi wetu waendelee kujitokeza kwa wingi kuweza kusupport hii project ili tuweze tukafanikisha yale malengo ambayo wanachama wetu wangependa yanga ifike washabiki wetu wafadhili na watu wote ambao wanatakia yanga Afrika mema kwa hiyo ningeomba kwa kupitia vyombo vya habari basi niomba washabiki wetu na wanachama wetu wasupport mradi wetu wa vitendo sina mengi ya kuzungumza na washukuru sana Any question? Swali kama yapo. Naam. Bwana mtaalamu ajibu hapo. Ah, kama anataka kuwa mwanachama, ni lazima kwamba ajisajili kupitia kwenye tawi. Na kama anataka kuwa tu ni mshabi, anaweza kujisajili kwa njia ambazo sisi kama yeye tunasema kwamba hivi karibuni tutakuja tuta launch fan registration kwa kupitia njia ya portal ama website lakini vile vile tutaweza kuwasajili eh, washabiki kupitia USSD 
na application. Je, kwa kiwango ambacho anakuwa ametoa kwa na saba anapotaka kubadilika kuwa mwanachama, ataanza moja process au ata afanyishi kiasi kichobakia na kwa ataanza process. Ndio, ina maana ina maana kama ata ataka kuwa mwanachama baada ya kuchangia shilingi 17 itaangaliwa duration itakayokuwa imebaki. Na ile pesa ambayo itakuwa imesalia ndio atakayoongezea alafu itaongezwa na ile unity ya mwanzo ili kukamilisha tu 29 kama ana msaidia. Lakini kwa kuongezea um, tunaangalia mfumo unatofanyaje na katiba inasemaje ingawa automatically mshabiki anakuwa mwanachama lakini tutanga sijui mtaona kwa Muhammad uh, tunaweza vile vile mtu akawa mwanachama lakini akapata na kadi yake ya mshabiki ingawa automatically huwezi kuwa mwanachama bila kuwa mshabiki lakini mtaangalia eh, eh, okay, the, the, eh, the regulations, regulations okay. asemaje na nini lakini unajua tuongee kwa mfano kwa mfano unajua ngoja nikwambie jamani mimi nitakwambia ni kitu leo ambacho amwezi kukiamini mimi toka nimeanza kuweka ikadi yangu kwenye wallet hii ya yanga hii wallahi kwa na wadai wote kwa maudisha ya zangu sida hii na mtu na raha hizi kadi sasa ukiwa nazo mbili ya mwanachama na mshabiki si ndio mambo yanazidi kwa mazuri kwa angalieni constitution nasemaje basi tokwe kanne hizo zote za yanga baraka tu kwa Mungu swali lingine ba mimi na maswali mawili lakini ndani ya maswali mawili nimependa kushauri pia kupitia kursi ambapo mwenyewe kiongozi mko kwa press pia imechelewa kuanza wakati mwingine tutapata pia feedback maandishi ambayo tunakuwa tumepata kwa wakati kama kuna changamoto kwa kutokea kwa sababu na watu wengine wanaondoka bila kuwa na suggestion ya pili pia kupata content ya press wale ambao tunakuwa tunaona posters za presidenti na kusaidia hasa wale waandishi wanaofanya habari za kiuchunguzi kujua content ya press inakuwa ni nini na kujiandaa na maswali mengi sana. Yeye kwenye maswali yangu, swali langu la kwanza kuna project mbili ambazo mko nazo ya wanachama ambao mnakwenda nao vizuri na mnakuja na ya fun engagement. Eh kuna project ambayo imeanza pia hapa katikati nadhani tuna wiki tangu nimejitambulisha eh kwa sababu nipo na viongozi vilikuwa hivyo eh hii project ambayo ipo watu wanaichangia pia club eh tunachofundishaje project hizi mbili ambazo tulizo nazo pamoja na hii nyingine ambao pia kuna wanachama wetu wana push kuichangia club na hii ambayo tunafanya nao kama ya fund ningependa kwa sababu tunaonekana kama yanga hii project nyingine hapa katikati kama mwikush sana inaonekana kama labda imeachiwa upande mwingine wakati pia kuna wanachama kuna wanachama na mashabiki wa yanga wana anachangia club yao na pengine hizo pesa ambazo zitapatikana huko mtazichangisha vipi na hizi ambazo sasa hivi unaoje nao kama ya fund engagement kutoka kwa pamoja lakini swali la mwisho ni package ya club kwa viongozi hasa kuhakikisha wanachama ambao ni 31 wanachama ambao wanatoa 31 na hawa mashabiki ambao wanakuja kutoka 17 nini ambacho hawa watu wamewaandalia au management watakuwa na kipati kiachana hawa kwenda uwanjani kufurahia matokeo mbingo na mambo mengine sababu kila kitu kingine ambao tumeendelea huko kuna package za wanachama na mkono kwa sababu mfano kama sasa tuna figure ya 1 million au tayari wanachama wameingiza kwenye club mashabiki wataingiza za pengine zaidi hapo wao wanapata nini extra wanapokuwa wanaingia kwenye hivi vitu viwili kwa pamoja kwa ajili ya kuchangia Naam. Ngoja ajibu. Ngoja nijibu brother. Eh uh, please you must translate for me. First question about eh uh, Nani Zaidi versus the programs that when we went to that press conference to me say my very clear. Young African Sports Club in a mipango yayo. We got our own programs in place. Our partner who's Azam TV and Azam Pay and everything came to us with an idea to push other programs kwa nyawa yao kwa Simba na Yanga. So the voting is about utani wa club hizi mbili. Utani sisi we are better than you, our jersey is better to, to we've got a a a, a derby that is playing. So we don't just have utani by talking. Utani wa changa we are voting for your team. 1000 we are just voting for your team. 
That is another project that you are doing to support the, the interest of, uh, of, of our clubs. It has nothing to do with the project we are having. The funds engagement you are talking about, somebody is going to pay and register and pay money to be a fan and recognized fan with a card that Mimi I'm a young African sports club. Why are you Mshabiki? What are you getting out of that? We've got discounts on our, on our, with our partners. Uh, the, the card that you're using to get into the stadium, the card you're using to use it at uh, ferries and everything. There's a number of packages that is coming with this card. It's not a card that is just having for the first time. And 10% uh, yeah, discounts on a Kila Duka La GSM. Yes. You know? And this is, not, this is just a start. There's a number of programs that you want to bring in. So let's not confuse it. Nini Zaid is about people voting so that they can say too much and voice about their clubs. This is a project that we've started some time ago. We are saying, people, be part of us. Get into our mfumo. Let us, let us, let us know who you are. Where are you staying? What can, can, what can, we, what can we do to support your, 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 your interest in our club? So these are the people that will be part of the database that we are having. It's not a random guy that's just voting and voting. We support the program of Nani Zaidi. We support it 100%. It's about Utani between the two clubs. It should not be confused with the current program that we are having. You said again, the difference between Washabiki that are paying the 29,000 and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the funds. They've got the, the, uh, uh, the members have got the right to vote. Members have got the right to be in the Mkutanumku, to be able to talk on behalf of their club, take decisions on behalf of their club. The, the, the fans are there to support, show support to their club. They have no interest in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Ongozi, they don't have an interest in becoming the members of the NDC. You understand? So we are saying be part of us, don't be far from it. Be part of us even if you just want to be a fan. So those are two different things. We are not uh, running away from the current Nini Zaidi project. We are still part of that project. We are today to announce that we are pushing our program as Young African Sports Club. Nimalizie umetuomba kama ushauri. Leo kulikuwa na press ya TFF saa sita. Na sima ukweli mimi kama ni kitu wa kamati ya masa singe kwa vizuri nikakosekana. Na tuliandika uh, kuomba radhi kwamba press tutaisogeza mbele itafanyika saa saba na nusu. Na iweka very clear na hata waandishi waliokuepo Karume hapa wameona jitihada ambazo zilituwezesha angalau wameweza kuwahi tumechelewa labda hadi half an hour foreni ya kuwasubiri wenzio imechelewesha lakini kuhusu la kuweka ajenda ya ya ya, ya press ili waandishi wa habari za umesema za kiuchunguzi mmeandaa maswali ah mimi nadhani hiyo sio jukumu lako kama tutaona inafaa tutaweka kama tunaona haifai tuweki sababu ni jambo la ndani interno tukiona kwamba kuna haja ya kuweka ajenda tutaweka lakini uh, ni, ni taasisi chache sana duniani ambazo zinaweka ajenda katika press ambazo hasa katika clubs ambazo zinafanya press mara kwa mara kwa hiyo mimi nadhani Uh, ushauri wako tutaufanyia kazi lakini ni jukumu letu tutaangalia interno kama inafaa na ye, ipo mikutano ambayo tunaweka ajenda ipo kwa mfano presi ya juzi ya uchaguzi tuliweka kwa habari za uchunguzi unaweza kusifanya vile vile kwenye habari za kiuchaguzi Ngoja ngoja kwa dakika moja. Kwanza kwanza hii habari ya propaganda. Ngoja nikwambie brother. Kuna vyombo. Nchi na vyombo. 
Yaani unaona sisi hapa akili yetu tujangani wa Tanzania. Unajua kuna TRA au ufahamu? Kwa hiyo sisi tukae tujiongopee kwa TRA, tuambie ili kesho ajitue tena niao. Brother, umefikiri sawa sawa kabla kuuliza swali? Ah, umefikiri kuuliza haina shida, umefikiri kabla kuuliza? Kuna vyombo ndugu yangu, nchi na vyombo. Vyombo ambavyo vinasimamia sheria. Nchi hii huwezi kukaa ukasema sisi tumecollect bilioni moja alafu uongope kwa interest ya ushabiki. Hii tunataka kuachieve nini? Tumekupa figure sasa unakataa data brother. Umeambiwa na chama ni 1034. Piga hesabu mara 1031 pia hutaki. Sasa tukulazimishe, basi sasa tukulazimishe. Okay, tumechukua mkono wa kulia tumeweka mkono wa kushoto. Wewe unaonaje? Maka tumekuwekea 1034 umeambiwa mpaka wanaume wako wangapi? Mkoa gani wa kwa idadi gani wanawake wa kwa ngapi age zao umetajiwa namba by namba ndio maana nilisema no research no data no right to speak unakuja huo mtu atoka ICT huku akiingia huko okay sasa kwa hiyo kwa bilioni moja basi yako wewe <laughs> na makolo wenzio baba endelea baba Eh jamani tunajamaliza press ngoja amalize last question. Last question. Uh -huh. Lakini tumeona jinsi usajili wa kwa unafanyika kwa unafanyika katika maeneo ambayo mara nyingi timu ambayo inakuwa inakuwa kwenye mechi maeneo hayo alafu unafanyika usajili kwa wanachama wa eneo hilo. Je, amuone kama kuna nafasi ya kuongeza hiyo balance ya kupitia usajili endapo kwa vizuri ile swali jamani na ndugu zangu naomba kidogo basi eh lakini tunaangalia inawezekana yanga ikasajili au ikapata pesa zaidi ya kike ambacho kimefanyika sasa mm. kwa sababu sasa tumeona mara nyingi imekuwa usajili unafanyika katika maeneo yale Swali zuri sana naeka na na ni kwa kishie wewe na wana yanga wanaonisikiliza mpango huo upo na tulikuwa nadhani uh, kama si wiki wiki ijayo tutaanza kufanya hiyo uh, uhamasishaji katika mikoa na tuongozana na timu ya wataalamu hawa tukitengeneza hype kubwa huko mikoani na hatutaishi hapa kwa sababu kuna mkoa mfano hamna ligi ndio msingi wa swali lako katavi simiu manyara je yanga haitaki wanachama huko maki mnaenda sehemu kuhamasisha sehemu ambayo timu ndio kucheza mechi za ligi kuu tunao mpango huo na tutakuja na program maalum ya kumfikia kila mwananchi wa nchi hii tutakwenda hadi wilayani mimi mimi kusema ukweli Uh, Mungu akiniwezesha msimu ujao uh, nitaomba kina Senzo kwenye mpira nitakuepo kama msemaji lakini nataka nijikite katika mradi huu ambao utakuja kutuachia alama baadaye yani mimi ningekaa zaidi kwenda huko kahama kuhamasisha watu kwa sababu wakati huo yanga atakuwa anapiga piga watu huku mimi napiga maneno